All right, let's see what else we can find, which is new. Well, <laughs> that gives us access to anything new that we want. Okay. Well, um, not at all familiar with this, and it sounds... Oh, it sounds like it'll be crap, but, um... Game's explosion! Let's see what exactly we have here. Beyond credits and help in the main menu. Wow. Let's see. Uh, sound and music and sound and music and sound. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. What's in the help category? Oh, it's help for individual? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty nifty then. Yeah, just for the sake of it, what do their credits look like? Same exact title screen music, and just very, very rapid. Wow. <laughs> so, um... Neon is a category. And I was expecting, you know, categories to be spelled out in this area here, just based on the neon thing, but, um... Apparently club is the surface of an alien planet with some kind of um, <laughs> structure and lights. How is that cyber? <laughs> oh my dear sweet. Well, you know, dice makes sense for the board category, but then you have what looks like one of those, like, crafting, measuring things for, you know, people who are quilting or doing things with, uh, cutting paper or what have you. Let's just go through and... <laughs> Neon Square! I've heard Pong called a lot of things, but I have never heard Neon Square. So, um, <laughs> wow! Huh? What? I... <laughs> so, I've also never ran into... Okay, we do have it on level easy, so let's see if we can, um... Changing difficulty, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm... oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so, um... Jesus Christmas, people. <laughs> Let me just... When when was 2000 and freaking 6? That would be... Yeah, like... More than 30 years after the original Pong, they couldn't manage programming a Pong opponent that was actually difficult. You know, again, a thing that we've had for more than 30 years at the time of this game's release. Okay, so what else do we have in this wondrous collection of just amazing things? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Again, I, I... I... I get that we're on, you know, easy difficulty to start out with, but... I... <laughs> I just... I... I have no words! That is freaking amazing! Okay, they, they, they can't really screw up Sudoku, can they? Well, again, easy, that's just super, super easy, but, um... How do you... oh, um, I guess... There we go, L and R change the number that you put down, okay. And 
yeah, it's just Sudoku, so not really any possible way they can actually screw that up. And that's it. That's the entirety of what is in the neon section. Oh my. <laughs> okay, let's let's look through first and see what we're in for. Okay, back check. We got darts. Crazy bowling. And that's all. I'm beginning to notice a trend here of three games per category. Let's bet 10 to, or 15, to, yeah, sure. Okay, we will hit, okay. Hey, sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How high can we go? Is there a limit at this table? Apparently so. Alright, oh, 13, that's never good, but sure, I'll take a 20. Okay. I'm kind of curious if there is any, like, upper limit. Like, any actual goal, like... You know, if you get 9,999 chips, something happens, but I kind of seriously doubt it. This more seems like the kind of thing where you just, you know, go infinitely and just... Yeah. <laughs> get me out of this mess. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, we can actually change what game we're playing. Even though it's all the same stupid game, because, you know, there totally don't exist any other dart games to play except for variations of those. And yeah, there is a little tiny bit of, like, quarter second after you hit the button is when it will change to the other axis. Oh, yeah. running out of time there. That's not good. It does seem to go exactly where you point it to, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be overly hard to get a bullseye, provided you actually have enough time on your timer to get it into that spot. won't always be the case. <laughs> oh dear me. I mean, seriously, there's... I, I, I can't call this easy difficulty because that implies that there is some level of difficulty, though. You know, I mean... I'm trying to remember which of these is triple, I want to say. Yep, that would be it there. <laughs> There's just, um, literally... Like, even if I weren't, you know, safe sitting my ass off to get this over with quicker, there would be no possible way I could lose to this opponent. He's playing that miserably badly. And that's not what you want in your difficulty settings, that's... Even the lowest difficulty setting should still have some actual challenge to it. Some level of possibility beyond the amazingly slim chance that the player will lose. Okay, so let's see what the... Um... <laughs> 
about what I expected for this kind of thing. So presumably, you know, the bowling ball moving back and forth indicates where it's going to start from. The meter on the bottom will be where it goes to. Let's just double check that. And then that'll be the power meter. Okay, so it's not strictly where it goes to then. Yeah, seen enough of that. Let's um carry on. What's in Zap? Looks <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this literally Oh, okay, 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 good. It is Pipe Dreams. This little preview image made me think it was the frickin' Windows Pipes screensaver and that they were trying to pass that off as a game. But, um, yeah, okay, it actually is Pipe Dreams. And hey, we have more than four games in this category. We have, er, we have more than three games, we have four games total. That is a thing of note. Oh, come on! It's freaking. What the hell is that thing called? Um, Buster Brothers. Or, um, Super Pang? Or. What was the other name of it? There's some other name, um. Somebody go check that for me real quick, because, you know. <laughs> Like, if you just search for Buster Brothers, it should tell you what the names were in other regions, but, um... Hmm. Anyways, let's, uh, carry on and see what else they've ripped off beyond the obvious, um, Space Invaders here. Oh my god. <laughs> Dear me, that's... <laughs> this game is something else, man. Okay, yeah, it, it's just, um, Pang. I guess Super Pang is one of the variations. Probably on the Super Nintendo. Love that Starfield thing. Good. And, you know, the not quite Star Trek Starbase there in the background. Okay, so, um,. See, this is obviously, as mentioned, just pipe dreams. Presumably we want to avoid radiation and not go through it. Okay, so is this of the type... Oh no, this is of the type where we can't replace a thing once it has been placed. Good to know. Can we... Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Okay, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Difficulty, that's, that's gotta be a thing, right? I have never seen a Pipe Dreams game where you can rotate the fucking pieces. This eliminates the entire purpose of Pipe Dreams. <laughs> and, uh... Purple Space in the stream audience has just pointed out that this was the same year that Wii Sports was released. So you could be playing this, or you could be playing Wii Sports. So, you know, this sure is a thing. There should be a Make It Go Faster button, there usually is. But, um, there we go. Uh, okay, um... Hitting B a couple times makes it go faster, so you can uh, get on with it. And we are winning extra money, as noted by the thing in the upper right corner. That, you know... Just racking up those dollars here, which are totally important. We weren't even given, you know... Like, usually with this kind of game, it will say... Play through this many, uh, you know, get this many points 
to clear the stage so that you have to, you know, go loop-de-loop-de-loop and all around and before you go to the end. But apparently this game is like, mm, nah, we don't need to do that. So, you know, let's, let's quit out and there has to be... Start a new game here. No! No! You th it still lets me rotate the pieces! That That's not done in a Pipe Dreams game that eliminates the entirety of the challenge. The whole deal is that you can't rotate the pieces. You have to use what you're given. And that is apparently how we remove pieces, so that's a thing, I guess. Holy jeez, man, this is just... <laughs> this went from just... So many really dumb things or amazingly, you know, copied things to just... Mind-bogglingly bad and... So, you know, hello obvious DDR. When do I hit L and A? D -d -d buttons. Are you f oh my <laughs> Again with just the how is this even I can't even it's when the notes reach the bar on the far right is when you hit the buttons. But, you know, they show up amazingly far in advance. And this is not a rhythm game. This is... Okay, we, 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 we've got to see this on a more difficulty, not easy. What does this look like on hard mode? I see. And yeah, you do have to do them in order, top to bottom. But, um... Yeah. doesn't want to register the B button, I don't know why. Any freaking ways! Time out while I check on one little thing. No, no, that is still... Yeah, um... No, the B button was set to the button I was pressing, so... I have no idea why it didn't recognize it. Okay, so... Did we finally enter the realm of... I was gonna say, did we finally enter the realm of new games, but no, obviously, this is going to be Sokoban. So, <laughs> you know... These other games do look like, you know... Original creations, though, possibly. Uh, or Frogger. <laughs> so, you know, not strictly Frogger, you know, but um, still obviously Frogger. <laughs> The ones that are cracked, you have to jump off quickly. And let's see, then A and B. Okay, L and R jump in those diagonal directions. If you, you know, for some reason don't feel like hitting a diagonal direction, and apparently you can't go back. This is honestly making me want to actually play Frogger, and, you know, I'm not a big Frogger fan. But, 
you know, that's just such a bad version of Frogger. Um. Huh. Okay, so, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I am proud of myself. I am level 2 warehouseman. Eh, so, you know, it's frickin' Sokoban. I hope nobody is surprised by that. <laughs> Let's just jump right into... Um... Um, 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 um... What changed? Oh, okay, so we had... 8,500 numbers on the clock, because obviously those are seconds. So 8,500 on easy and 6,000 on difficult. Because, you know, that's obviously super difficult right there. Now let's see... No, 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 no. Is it or isn't it? Oh! Okay. By the by the pizza there, I really thought this was gonna be some kind of Pac-Man. And by you know the name Pizza Man. But it isn't Pac-Man. It's Tapper. Tapper with the worst controls I've ever, you know, encountered. I don't know if I'm I think I'm just hitting left to do things, but, um, yeah, I'm just hitting left to do things. Right does not factor into it. And I guess I can hit A to also do things? Okay, yeah, I can hit A to also do things. Don't know what these items are, though. Okay, apparently green arrow is super speed. And level two, okay. Yeah, uh, hmm, yeah, uh, wow. Mick Rudolph, what is this garbage going to be? Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Yep. Controls, we gotta figure this out. Any button jumps. Yes, that much we have. Of course, it's like a super delay. I don't know how to actually... Yes, that works, yeah. <laughs> wow. And again, I'm vaguely reminded of something on the Atari. Don't remember what it was called, but it was pretty much exactly this. And if that is, like, the height of your aspiration... No, oh, let's make a game! Well, what kind of games should we make? Let's make something from the Atari! Now let's make a whole bunch of somethings from the Atari. That works just fine if you're making an Atari Games collection. You know, like the Midway collections or all the other Atari collections you can get out there. So, you know. <laughs> oh, I hit the reverse direction item. Okay, what else? We have board and... Hey, yeah, just board! Hooray! Terrible checkers, terrible eliminate, also known as mastermind, but I guess, um, that was not a... And that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Let's see what the easy computer does in checkers, then. 
if, you know, like, forcing trades, because why not? Or, you know, not forcing trades, if just, um, saying, hi, how are you? Uh -huh, let's, uh, not do that, actually. I, don't know. I wonder, will this... No. This does actually enforce the actual rules of checkers. And avoid the double take there. Don't know what the, um, zero, 0 is in the score up there. on moving certain pieces at certain times. Yeah. And he keeps forcing me into trades. Not enjoying that very much. Again, what is with the zeros? Oh. Didn't notice that there, thanks for <laughs> an easy game, Mr. Easy Computer. But I expected anything less. Today. Hmm, well, I didn't even bother to check. Okay, so I guess that is for the best of three. Because, you know, you need those there constantly. And yeah, let's uh, just very quickly check out Mastermind. And see... Yeah, okay, let's try all reds. Oh, uh, let's, what, what is the um, check button? Huh? Okay, I guess uh, all reds wasn't it. That. Okay. Alright, so I guess we have two blues and two yellows. Hmm, which two are in the correct spot? No, no, um. Let's see. Try blue, yellow, yellow, blue. There we go. Okay, wasn't that, uh. <laughs> Fun. And yeah, each difficulty will just um, add another color. Okay, we have a green in there somewhere. No blues. Green's in the right spot, though. Okay, and already three correct. Okay, green, yellow, something else. Obviously it'll be blue. Well, sort of light blue or whatever. Okay, so, yeah. Yep, um, that sure is some mastermind, and that sure is the last game in this collection of garbage. That's just kind of mind-boggling for, you know, it is really not often we see so many games done so terribly <laughs> in one collection. Like, I'm. Did this. Was, what was this? Um. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Um. None of the games used dice. <laughs> so, you know. Gigantic die there, just for show. Just to remind you of other better things you could be playing. Like I had a game of Yahtzee, I think it was, that had that exact kind of uh, transparent plastic dice. And yeah, um, I just want to double check and see which regions this was released in. It almost feels like a Chinese knockoff. But 
I'm getting the feeling that it was probably in Europe. Oh dear lord, this was only in the U.S. For shame. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... Wow, that's, that's just some kind of amazing failure. So, you know, um... Yeah, this was Game Explosions, and, uh... I cannot recommend enough that you stay away from this one. There is not a single bit of fun to be had here. Almost every game in this was ripped off of another one. You know, another existing game, or something... If you were there? These aren't really rip-offs, they're just terrible versions of existing things. Buster Brothers, Rhythm Game, Pipe Dreams, Space Invaders, Sort of Rocker, Sort of uh, Icy Tower, Tapper, and Sokoban, and yeah, every single thing in this is either a generic game or a rip-off. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, absolutely done here. 